Well, is Starbucks getting ready to become woke bucks? I mean, some would argue we've already reached that point, but we're going even further now as they advance to do what they can to help protect the environment. I mean, you guys remember it was back in 2020, you know, they were going to be ditching the plastic straws in favor of those little, you know, little sippy cup lids that you get now when you head on over to Starbucks. And well, they are now going to be reimagining how they just do the cups in general. And that includes getting rid of the disposable cups. Well, if they do that, then what are they going to replace it with? Oh, they got plans. Stick with me. We'll talk about it first. If you could, guys, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, wear the glasses because I'm lying. You know, we got to bring this stuff up with, with Starbucks or woke bucks, if you want to call them that every now and then, uh, because wow, you want to talk about a company that has just completely gone off the cliff when it comes to wokeness. Look no further than Starbucks. Yes, it is true. They are planning to completely phase out their disposable cups by the year 2025. That is what they want to do. Now, <laughs> what are they going to be doing in the meantime? The goal here is to install mug washing stations at all Starbucks. They'll be located conveniently right by the bathroom. So, <laughs> it's a nice location, right? When customers come in, they will be encouraged now to start bringing in their own mugs. They can walk right on over to the mug washing station, clean their mug out, head on up over to the counter, and order their favorite latte. That's right. Now, they realize that this will be difficult to a habit to break for so many people that are just used to just ordering the simple disposable cup, but they have a plan. You see, they're thinking about potentially charging more for a disposable cup. That's right. But you see, this is all because they want to help the environment. Look, and you guys don't want to help the environment. Look, you're, you, you just, you know, you're not a good person. Okay. Starbucks CEO says as much as they love their traditional disposable cup, it has largely represented throwaway culture. <laughs> I just love these terms that they come up with when they release these press statements. Uh, when they come out with this stuff, it's hysterical to me. Throw away culture. When you get down with a delicious Starbucks beverage, which is not delicious, and you just simply toss that cup away in the trash. No, we don't want to do that. It represents throw away culture. So no, no, we're going to have hand washing stations, or sorry, not hand washing stations, mug washing stations at all of our Starbucks locations. And there's other programs as well. In fact, uh, one campus in the United States, college campus, uh, is going to be participating. In fact, they already are. And uh, why does it have to be in my home state of Arizona? Because Arizona State University, the Sun Devils have gladly accepted the opportunity to have a mug washing station on campus there to help promote the woke environment agenda. But I'm going to talk about some of the other uh, programs that they are thinking about doing here, guys. This is you're going to stick stick with me on this. It gets better. <laughs> you get it. But first, guys, if you could consider making a generous donation here to my ministry as I'm demonetized on YT. They don't support me in any way. But if you guys enjoy my daily content here, talking about end time Bible prophecy headlines, and you would like to help out the ministry, send a message to YT. They don't support me, but you guys enjoy what I do. You can help me out on PayPal. That link is down below, or you can sign up on Patreon. When you do that, you get access to my bonus content. That also includes the YT videos, the links up getting posted to Patreon because you're not going to get alerted every time new content comes out. You can also comment there 100% censorship free. You know, you can say whatever you want behind the paywall and send me direct messages. And then don't forget, I am also on Rumble. That's my backup in case I get booted out of YT. These videos go up there too. So check it out. All those links are down below. A big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So they're also considering this. This would basically be a borrow a cup program 
So when you go down to the Starbucks, the Starbucks will encourage you. They'll make sure that all their baristas are fully trained on this. They will encourage you to borrow a cup instead. Now you can, of course, still bring your own mug and everything like that. But if you borrow a cup, they'll charge you like a $1 deposit on this. And they will give you a, a durable cup at the drive through when you go inside or whatever. But they want you to come back to the Starbucks later on that day and drop your cup back off. And what the plan is to have these bins that will be located like in the center inside of all these Starbucks. And so when you get done with your borrow cup, you can head on back down to the Starbucks, put your cup in this bin, and you'll get your dollar back. And they'll also give you rewards on your Starbucks app for participating in the program. I mean, they got this all planned out. And they want more people to come down and just start donating other mugs and other cups. And they'll have them here in the bin. Well, you'll be able to just walk in. You can head right over to that bin, grab any cup or mug you want, head on up to the front, and they'll go ahead and fill the cup up from there. This is the genius plan that they have. Now, they're not going to completely get rid of the disposable cups. They're still going to have them on hand because I know people are, you know, that, that really love Starbucks. And God bless you if you do. Uh, they're just not going to want to be a part of any of this, but they're going to do everything they can. And yes, even including the potential to raise prices on the disposable cup, um, even if it's just for a little bit. And they're even talking about a huge increase, but enough to let you know that, hey, you know, why not try this, you know, this this rent a cup program, this borrow a cup program. And, uh, you know, you can earn rewards and all this other stuff and then come on in. Head on over to our mug washing station. I mean, this is a joke. This is an absolute joke. This is what they want their Starbucks to look like by 2025. And uh, this has already been piloted in Seattle, of course, where they're based. And like I mentioned, uh, Arizona State University is going to be participating in this. And also uh, a couple locations in Hawaii are doing this as well. And then no doubt it's going to start to spread out throughout the rest of the country as well. I mean, look. If they reinstitute the uh, jibbity jab jab mandates for Starbucks workers, you know you might just pretty soon just get all robots working at Starbucks anyway, uh, with their you know their rent a cup program and their mug washing stations and all this. Uh, you, you can only handle so much wokeness before it just gets to a point where it's way too much. So nope, the the sippy cup lids were not enough. As much as that angered customers, they're just going to take it a step further. And now say, we're just not going like, to use the disposable cups anymore. We're going to phase those out because it helps the environment. So there you go. And that's some Starbucks news for you guys. You know, I, I, know, I know so many that watch me, you, you guys some love Starbucks. And I've talked with some of you guys that are just huge fans of that coffee chain. So there you go. You might want to take your business elsewhere if you're not a fan of this move. Uh, but this, what this does is it just represents woke culture at, you know, at large here. Um, and the way society is continuing to go, it doesn't better anything. It doesn't better America. It doesn't better our world. And we continue to see a world as they embrace more wokeness, they embrace less of Jesus Christ. That's the way that it is. But as we do on all of our videos here, no matter what we talk about, Give people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior because we are in the last days and he is coming back soon. And if you've never received him into your life, I'd like to lead you in a prayer right now to get you to do just that. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top is acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are, but the good news, let me tell you, is this. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid that cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from that sin, ladies and gentlemen. Not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles or habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He wipes that sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then... You invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, child of God, 
you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this for you guys down below, a little video clip if you want to check out some more about the Starbucks situation. And don't forget, the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.